volunteers to help us avoid some of the negative effects. Certified life coach, Dr. Don Paul, welcome back to the show. Yes, thank you. I always love being here. Um, you know, this is a double-edged sword for me because mm. I do find myself in a, in a time where I'm constantly checking. And I know, I know we have to do a lot of this for work, mm -hmm. but you just get sucked into it. You don't realize. Yeah, it does. But is it affecting your self-esteem? I hope, in a negative I way. So, so that's that's the big thing I yeah. tell people to be on guard for. But yeah. how might we know if it's negatively affecting our self-esteem? Because for a lot of folks, you know, you post a photo, mm -hmm. and of course you want people to like it. You yeah. want people to follow you. You're saying that that desire mm -hmm. for validation is maybe a red flag? Yeah. So for instance, if I see Derek has... Uh, has a, had an amazing transformation. He's got these muscles and he's sh working out for the summer. If I see Derek and I'm insecure about myself, then that's a red flag. But if I see Derek and I say, if he can do it, I can do it. You know, so, so if it affects you in a negative way and you feel less than, then that is a red flag. Also, what is your purpose for posting? Are you posting to promote your business, to market, or are you promoting because you're trying to compete with someone? Mm. Uh, so, so those are things. What is your purpose for posting? I think that's very good mm -hmm. because I think, too, a lot of times, you know, the bad photos never get posted. Oh, no. The bad days really don't get posted. Right, right. It's the filtered. It's the, oh, oh yeah. I look good in that one. Yeah. Or this amazing thing happened to me today. Yeah. Um, we have to remember that life on social media isn't exactly real life sometimes. Oh, yes. Yeah, you cannot allow unreality, really things that are not realistic, to impact your reality. Or, or allow something that's counterfeit <laughs> to allow how you feel, you know, it's, it's a lot of uh, faking and shaking mm -hmm. going on. So I'm going to be honest, I'm smoking mirrors, yeah. What are some of the things we need to be mindful of when it comes to relationships? Because for a lot of folks, the last thing they do before bed is they're on their phone, they mm -hmm. put it down, they wake up in the morning, they immediately reach for their phone. Yeah. Problematic or not? I think it, it's causing a problem in your relationship, definitely. Because what can happen with couples, we always talk about singles are impacted by self, you know, by social media. You see these happy couples, you feel less than. But if you are a couple, if you start to be on social media and you're comparing your relationship to what you see, and then you start to bring up to your partner, why, look at what they're doing. Why aren't we doing that? That's a problem. I say turn it off. After 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it should be you and they. You got to keep that out. Is there anything really going on between the hours of 8 to when you wake up that you're, if you miss, your, your life is going to shatter? No. That's a good point. So you have to think about that, too. Don't compare your relationship to what you see on social media. A lot of that is smoke and mirrors. Absolutely. Yeah. And what about how real people mm -hmm. should be? Should that involve, you know, sometimes you read things on social media and you think, oh, I can't believe they just said that about oh, the fight. Oh, like people who yeah. air and all now, the dirty laundry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, some less is more, right? I think it depends on what your brand is. Okay. Uh, Dr. Don doesn't post that negativity, that kind of stuff. You know, you all don't do that. Uh, for some people, it's what they do. They give the tea of the day, you know, all that. You can be real, but you have to understand you're allowing people in the cyber world who you do not know into your personal space. Uh, you're, if you show your kids, we all love it. We're great if we're friends, but you have people in the cyber world who you don't know who you're allowed. So be careful of how real you are because you could be allowing people in your space who, I mean, I've had friends that you get DMs that are threatening and, and just though, but you, you posted it. You allow people into your space, expect some things are going to happen. Everybody who's, who's on social media may not be in, a, in the right place. Yeah, keyboard <laughs> queens. We know a yeah. lot of those. <laughs> and just some quick final thoughts. I mean, mm. you say, Dr. Don, we should be posting for purpose, not mm -hmm. popularity. Yeah. The purpose, what is your purpose for posting? Are you po posting to promote your business, to promote Houston life? Are you promoting your business and, and what you do, accolades? There's nothing wrong with that. But if your purpose for posting is because you, you don't feel good about yourself, if you're posting because you need validation, if that's going to make you feel good today, then that is a red flag. And if it is, Get help. Get Dr. Dawn out. can support you, but also therapy, mm -hmm. counseling, because it's deep-rooted issues as to why it affects you like that. So you need therapy or counseling as well. All right, we're out of time. we got to leave okay. it there, Dr. Dawn. Great yes. to see you. And as always, if you would like to connect with Dr. Dawn or any of our guests, you can just visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website.